Business Review, a daily program that delves into the latest and most significant economic stories. From stock markets to currency news, Business Review covers the most up-to-date developments in the global financial world. According to the La Liga club statement on March 26th, Barcelona are taking measures to cut the wages of their players and staff to reduce the economic effects of the coronavirus crisis. The club's directors decided at a board meeting held via video conference all professional players at Barcelona, including six times World Player of the Year Lionel Messi, as well as non playing staff will face a compulsory wage reduction during the period of lockdown. Spain was put into lockdown on March 14th, with citizens only allowed to leave their homes in order to conduct essential business. The period is expected to be extended this weekend once the initial 15-day period has finished. Spain has been Europe's second most impacted country by the pandemic behind Italy, with the death toll surpassing 4,000. Over 56,000 people have tested positive for the virus. Barcelona said in a statement they have made their club and annex facilities available to the Catalan government's regional health department. Tokyo locals cherished less crowded cherry blossoms viewing on Friday, March 27th as the city's governor appealed to people to wait until next year for traditional spring parties. Visitors to Ueno Park, a tourist destination famous for its cherry blossoms, found the place more comfortable this year with less crowds and a quiet environment to appreciate the beauty of nature. Governor Yuriko Koke on Wednesday, March 25th, had requested citizens to refrain from non-essential, non-urgent outings through April 12th, and especially this weekend. A museum staff, Motoko Inoue, said she understood the need to stay at home to prevent the virus spread, but was worried if the stay-home order would be extended. Coronavirus infections have climbed to more than 1,400 in Japan with 47 deaths, excluding those from a cruise ship that was quarantined last month. Globally, infections have topped half a million people and deaths at more than 24,000. According to global analyst Rohini Malkani, Japan's economy will take a further hit of 6 billion US dollars, which is the cost of having to postpone the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games. That will be another blow to Japan's government, who offered its bleakest assessment on the country's economy in nearly seven years on Thursday, saying conditions in March were as severe as the coronavirus pandemic shut down factories and called consumption. The analyst added, the coronavirus pandemic has affected several sectors in Japan over the last few months, and the Olympic Games postponement will only add more troubles for the country's hotels, airlines and tourism industry in the second half of the year. Malkani said on Wednesday, March 25th, that the costs of maintaining stadiums and other infrastructures could cost as much as $6 billion, and there will be 2 million fewer people visiting Japan without the Games being held this year, adding that a lot of the investment into the Games from stakeholders such as sponsors and tourists would be deferred until 2021 that was not going to help the tourism industry in hotels in the second half of 2020. In February, the government said the economy was recovering moderately, albeit with some weakness among manufacturers. The government also cut its assessment on consumption, capital expenditure and business sentiment, which all took a hit from worldwide travel bans, event cancellations and supply chain disruptions caused by the pandemic. The report said passengers of bullet trains, usually packed with business users and tourists, halved from year before travels in the first half of March 
as companies urged employees to work from home. It said some department stores saw sales in the first half of March tumble nearly 40% from year before levels due to a plunge in the number of overseas visitors. The labor market remains tight and wages are steady, though there is a growing chance jobs and household income could be hit if the outbreak persists. Long queues built up at stores and street markets in South Africa on Thursday, March 26, as the country prepared for a three-week coronavirus lockdown. The measures announced by President Cyril Ramaphosa began at midnight, and some in the queues were questioning how they could survive 21 days stuck at home. Ramaphosa has been praised for ordering some of the toughest measures on the continent and has deployed the army to support the police enforcing them. The country's number of coronavirus cases has jumped to more than 900 and Ramaphosa has called for other countries to help African nations deal with the economic fallout. The lockdown threatens to cripple an economy already beset by power cuts and shrinking since the end of last year. The Chinese Ministry of Natural Resources announced on Thursday China extracted 861,400 cubic meters of natural gas from combustible ice during a one-month trial production in the South China Sea. The trial mining was conducted at a depth of 237 to 304 meters under sea in the Shenghu Sea area, about 320 kilometers southeast of Zhuhei City in Guangdong Province from February 17th to March 18th. China has set two world records in terms of the total gas output in a month and the daily gas production of 28,700 cubic meters. The latest test adopted a horizontal well drilling technique, the first time it has been used in the natural gas hydrate extraction, which has greatly increased the gas production, according to the ministry's China Geological Survey. King Xu Wen, deputy director of the Guangzhou Marine Geological Survey, said Chinese scientists have achieved gratifying results after two years' efforts and made new breakthroughs in key technologies and core equipment. Kin said an environmental monitoring and warning system was introduced during the whole exploitation process to protect the undersea structure and marine ecology. The monitor results show there had been neither leakage nor environment pollution or geological disaster. Compostable ice is a natural gas hydrate trapped in ice crystals formed under high pressure and low temperatures in permafrost or under the sea. Mining of compostable ice started in the 1960s, but China began research in 1998. China found a flammable ice in the South China Sea in 2007 and conducted its first experimental gas extraction in 2017. The first exploitation test succeeded in producing a total of 309,000 cubic meters of natural gas in a 60-day period. The compostable ice reserve in China's waters is equal to around 80 billion tons of oil and boasts a bright future. The improvement in gas scale and efficiency will bring China's combustible ice mining onto a fast track.